So I've already started setting my intentions for 2023. I've been working on them for a few months now. Well, not a few months, maybe a couple of weeks because I was over with 2022. Like I was done with 2020, 2022 in like November. So I started working on some intentions that I wanted to set and I wanna share them here today. So going forward, I really wanna do more reset videos because I don't see a ton of moms doing reset videos. I see a lot of people that don't have kids um, that are doing reset videos, but I think that there's something really special to say about moms doing reset videos just because resetting looks a little bit different for us than what it may look like for people that don't have kids. So I'm gonna start doing reset videos and that's what really made me decide that I was gonna sit down and actually share what my 2023 intentions are and how I'm resetting for this year. So my focus for 2023 is going to be on creating habits and systems. Previously, I've set goals. Um, in previous years, I've been setting goals. And while goal setting is not a bad thing, I find myself really getting too focused on, oh, like I, I hit the goal or I didn't hit the goal, but not the actual activity required for me to actually reach the goal. So this year, I decided to flip it around and I'm going to focus on creating habits, creating systems that will allow me to ultimately hit the goal. So. In a weird way, I'm still setting goals, but I'm more so focusing on like the habits that lead up to the goal versus setting a goal. So this year I have a fitness goal, but the fitness goal is not lose X number of pounds or, you know, be able to do this certain weight. Instead, it's more like, you know, eat at home, you know, four days a week instead of, you know, what I would usually do, which is eat out every day of the week. So I'm focusing on the habits that will hopefully compound over time to help me hit the Goal. So in order for me to actually, you know, do these habits and, and, and get myself to this level playing field, well, I wanted to get myself to a level playing field. So I decided to do a reset just to kind of get my life in order to a point that when I started working on these habits, I had a bit of a clean slate. Now, this wasn't perfect. It wasn't a foolproof process. When I first started working on resetting my life, I didn't realize how much of my life needed to be reset. Um, so hindsight is definitely 2020, but I also realized that by allowing myself the time to figure out what areas of my life needed to be reset, I now have a starting point for everything that I do. And at the end of the year, I should be able to look back and say like, oh wow, I got so much accomplished that got me closer to a goal. Um, and I'm trying to like, I, I'm, I'm so weird about using the word goal this year only because I feel like a lot of times in the past, my goals have been very black or white. Either I did it or I didn't do it, but it didn't take into account the fact that every day I could make progress. Um, and so by just saying like, oh, I didn't hit the goal, it really leaves a lot to be desired. And it really leaves you feeling like, oh, okay, like, so I didn't do anything. Because when I look at my goals from last year, I didn't achieve any of them. But when I really look and read my goals, I achieved so much in the process of getting there. And that's why this year I really wanna focus on habits and systems so that I don't have to discourage my own self by saying that I didn't do or didn't reach a goal when I made really, really good progress in the direction of something. So for the refresh, I focused on four to five main areas. They were refreshing my physical space, refreshing my digital space, looking at my goals from last year versus the goals I have for this year, which I'm calling intentions, and then also looking at my finances as well as my business. The first area I refreshed was my physical space. I decided to do a declutter and a deep clean, which did not go the way that I planned. I had this grand idea that I was going to declutter and refresh everything like all the physical areas in my house and that just was a really ambitious um, goal even though I had a month to do it it was still very ambitious and it's not done as of the beginning of the year and that's okay because again it gives me a starting point so I have this list of things that I want to declutter that I want to deep clean and really get a hold of and so my goal is to finish this list over the course of this year so how I created this list is I started in like the furthest part of our apartment and I just walked through each room and wrote down every area that needed to be either cleaned or decluttered. And I would just like 
in a bullet point like on a on a notes app I just went through and I wrote out every single thing whatever needs to be cleaned whatever I want to declutter and I went through every single room I opened cabinets I you know was looking in the bed like I was doing all kind of things just to figure out what parts of my home needed to be refreshed or decluttered or needed a deep cleaning like something that I hadn't maybe gotten to in a while my idea when I first came up with this was that I was gonna like each day take a couple of things on the list and tackle them but ciao I got two kids two small kids so that did not happen so going forward my goal and my intention for this year is to go through that list and just get things off it as the year goes by and so by the end of the year ideally the, the list should be done maybe there will be a couple of areas that I might have to like touch up at the end of the year because obviously like the whole year would have gone by but I really wanted to honestly get our home to a neutral space because we are hoping to move at some point either this year or next year and so with that being said I really want to declutter so that I'm not taking a bunch of stuff from this house to that house and it's just like super unnecessary. So the goal is to declutter as much as possible, get things clean and to get a habit set for how we are cleaning because right now I have like a Sunday clean and I have like my 10 minute daily cleans but there's no real like structure or format or rhyme or reason as to when I clean what and I really want to have that habit um, and that kind of system for myself for this year. I don't know how long this is going to actually last because again I have two small kids so I'm not going to delude myself into thinking like this is a foolproof plan but my idea is that something is better than nothing and if I can just create a few habits and a few systems whether it's like a morning cleaning routine or like you know on Mondays I clean this room on Tuesdays and clean that room even if I could do something as simple as that I feel like that would give me the um just just maybe feel a little bit better about my own physical space so the physical space that's the first area that I decided to reset and that's the first thing I'm going to be resetting when I'm thinking about doing monthly resets um, and just resets going forward the next area was the digital reset which I was actually surprised about how like much I needed to do for my digital space I don't think I realized just how much of my life is digital and I feel like this happens to a lot of people but like for me I didn't realize that like oh I have like you know I do planner pages in my iPad and then I have planner pages on my laptop and then I have a physical planner and I have 700 emails that need to be <laughs> gone through and stuff and I have like five hard drives because I'm a photographer and then you know just all the other things that I do so all that to say I decided that and I did a list as well for all the digital spaces that I want to declutter even something as simple as going through my desktop and decluttering my desktop these are tasks and different things that I want to get done through this year so that I can declutter and just refresh my digital space I even want to go through my phone and like actually go through all my apps and go through my photos and go through all my notes and declutter all that because I have entirely too many notes um, share below how many notes you have in your phone I think I have like over 2,000 notes inside my phone um, and that's a little insane and it's also overwhelming because I don't remember half of the stuff that I wrote in my notes app so I really want to go through and just organize that I am deciding whether or not I'm going to start using notion as my second brain just so that I could have a place to put everything that I can easily find and categorize a little bit better than what I'm doing inside of my notes app so the next thing is planning my year planning my goals and my intentions so like I said at the beginning of this video I didn't achieve any of my 2022 goals like I'm not even gonna go back and look at it I did I actually did a video where I talked about my 2022 goals um, and yeah nothing nothing on that list was accomplished um, and that's fine right one thing that I do know for a fact is that there was progress being made and that is why this year I really wanted to kind of shift how I thought about my goals and again focus more so on habits and systems versus only focusing on like here's the goal it's either black or white that I did it and so this year I decided to do 23 goals for 2023 uh, I did 23 goals and the goals while I set the goal the more important part are the habits that I'm associating with each goal now something that I used this year that I haven't used before to set goals is I used a tool called the wheel of life the wheel of life is a tool that helps you visualize all the different areas of your life like the most important areas of your life in a way that you can visually see and then basically what you do is you rate each area of your life and then at the end of the year I'll rate those areas again the reason why I thought, thought that this would be a really good tool for me this year is because again I was tired and I am tired of 
each year feeling like my goals are black and white and either I hit the goal or I didn't. And so I wanted a better representation for me to see my satisfaction or the progress that I'm making in my life and in my goals versus it being just a either you hit the goal or you didn't. Because I'll be honest, looking at 2022 and being like, dang, you didn't hit none of those goals, it really does suck. But when I'm able to take the approach of, oh, I made progress in this area and I have a, you know, 50% satisfaction, like increase in satisfaction with my life, that is just so much better to look at versus me feeling like I didn't accomplish anything. So I used the Wiggle Life this year to just kind of give me, again, a starting base point of where I am with how I'm feeling about certain areas of my life. And then next at the end of the year i will look at that again and see what my progress was so i'm excited to share that just to see how i'm feeling at the end of the year on how this year goes <laughs> i was brutally honest with myself with how i rated my current feelings about my will of life so for example one of the areas that i rated i think was like relationships or friendships and i rated myself a two out of ten in that area and it's because truthfully speaking friendships is an area of my life that i just let go by the wayside between having kids between running you know three companies now i'm running two companies between all that friendships was just like way down the totem pole for me and so now um, this year, um, friendships, my relationships are a bigger priority for me. So in talking about my goals, intentions for the year, which I'm using goals and intentions interchangeably, but in talking about that, I want to talk about my word for this year. So my word for this year is habits. Not a surprise, um, but my word for the year is habits because that is my focus. This year, I just want to focus on the habit of doing the things, doing whatever I need to do to get where I'm trying to go. Because one thing that I have been slacking on is habits. I've even talked about in other videos how like I don't have like a set routine. The kids don't really have a routine. I mean, we have a routine, but like there's no set times or there's no set structure and format of how we do things. And so going forward, I would love for us to like have a bit of a habit, right? Like have a, a routine that we are in and a groove that we're in so that we can consistently show up the way that we want to show up. So habits is my word for the year. Then my supporting words are alignment, systems, clarity, and confidence. Those are like the four main words that I want to have for this year. Um, I feel like this year I really am walking into 2023 with just a renewed sense of confidence and clarity in my life and in my business, but I just want to continue on with that throughout the year and I want to continue to refine those things. And I feel like habits, systems, just alignment, I feel like all those things are going to work together to help me have have a year that just feels like I have a grip on things which I, I I recognize the irony that I'm saying this at the beginning of the year and then probably at the end of the year I'm gonna be like what the heck but we're gonna go with it right we're gonna let me dream right now <laughs> so like I said I set 23 goals for 2023 I'm not gonna bore you with like explaining all the goals maybe at the end of the year I will recap a few of them um, but one thing that I did do for 2023 is that I focused on six kind of different areas so the four F's I focused on were faith family finances and friends um, again like I said I really want to prioritize my friendships so that was important to me to have goals around friendships um, faith of course I'm gonna have faith goals I want to go through the Bible again in you know one year so that's a goal um, I have some Bible study goals I have some church goals um, I have you know family goals where there's like certain things that I want to do with the family my finance goals you know of course the the goals with like my husband and then of course like friends so those are like the four F areas that I have for goals and then I also have like social media goals um, goals that I have for like YouTube and my podcast and things like that and then I also have goals for my business the biggest thing for my social media goals and my business goals is that I want to finish what I start um, that's a big thing for me this year is just to finish what I start because something that I've done the last two years for certain is I will start something and not finish it even last year I started something that I was really excited about and like I literally just started it and I didn't finish it and so this year will be the year that I finish what I start so I'm trying to be really intentional this is why I'm not setting goals well I'm setting goals and habits this year because I want to be intentional about my follow-through so this year I'm setting goals but I'm also setting the uh, the habits so that I can finish what I start so the goal for this year is to finish what you start finish what you start <laughs> The last thing for this year, I kind of briefly talked about business goals. I might do another video about business goals because that is like the fourth or the fifth area. But the last area that I have to talk about um, that I want to share is my finances. So this year I've decided to do an intentional money plan. And basically what an intentional money plan is, is it's 
being intentional with your money like how are you intentionally using spending um you know creating money and so for me one thing that I had to kind of get out of the mind frame of is calling how I use money a budget. I needed to get away from the word budget because it made me feel like I couldn't spend money or I couldn't use money or if I did use money, it was bad. So now I am creating an intentional spending plan. And so basically, and it's not even an intentional spending plan, it's just an intentional money plan. And so this allows me a little bit more flexibility so that when I'm thinking about money, I'm thinking about it as, oh, I'm intentionally spending it or I'm intentionally saving it. I'm intentionally investing it or whatever so I'm still working out the format of this right now I'm using like a Google spreadsheet but I plan to update this and hopefully by our January recap video or reset video I will be able to show you how I am mapping out my finances for this intentional plan but um or i might use notion i'm still thinking about that so that is it for my reset um i can briefly talk you through my january like intentions so for january i'm doing two launches for my company my company is launching two different offers and so that's going to be like the main priority for the entire month i have weekly and daily habits for social media so i have a weekly habit of doing my podcast youtube videos and emails and then i have like every five or like five days a week I'm gonna do Instagram stuff um, and so that is gonna be the focus of those habits so this year I'm gonna try I have a goal set for how many like subscribers and followers and monetization and all that kind of stuff I have goals for that but I feel like for the purpose of me remembering and just like for the memory and to record this I'm gonna focus more so on the the habits that I'm forming and then once I hit the milestone I'll share what the milestone is so that's just how I'm going to do things there some other things that I have that I want to do for this month I want to go on a date with Tay which is already scheduled on the calendar which is exciting I want to do two outings a week with the boys usually we go out like once a week but I really want to increase how much we're going out because the kids are getting older so it'll be more fun to like do more things so two outings each week we have a goal to eat at home five days a week which that's going to be a challenge but we're going to try i want to do either a solo date or a friend date this month i also want to read a book and write a letter to a friend this write a letter to a friend thing is really going to stretch me because again it's going to require me to like think about my friendships which is something that i don't do a good job at like i have friends that i probably talk to once like every six months and one of them i actually like consider her my best friend and it's just how we are but i really want to get better at like let's let's talk like let's let's go out and do things or whatever so anyway something that I thought would be fun is to write a letter because I really do enjoy like the um writing letters and like I don't I don't know how you call it but like quaint ways of communication I really enjoy those things so I'm gonna write a letter this month that's something that I want to do so there are like some like some personal things I just want to do just to like have fun and enjoy life and to not just be stuck in a uh, the box and the scroll you know of instagram and social media and stuff so those are my goals um or those are my intentions for this month and that is it for this video thanks for hanging out with me and i will see you next time